At the NFL Combine, Miami Dolphins general manager, Chris Greer, spoke with the media and said the team is working with Xavier Howard on a new deal. Maybe they shouldn't be. Xavier Howard is the best player that Miami has on defense but it isn't by a huge margin. Howard has been joined by a bunch of up-and-coming stars. Brandon Jones, Jalen Phillips, and of course Javon Holland. Now, here we are again trying to make Howard happy. Last offseason there was threats of leaving, a holdout threat, skipped voluntary workouts, and even a rumored trade request. Miami gave in. Brian Flores made it clear he wanted Howard and the Dolphins moved money around so that he could be the highest paid player on the team. Now, a year later and Howard is no longer the highest paid player. He comes up a couple of $100,000 short of Byron Jones. Apparently, the Dolphins are not going to go through this again, the problems that is. According to Omar Kelly via Twitter, the Dolphins are talking with Howard about a new contract, something Kelly says the team told him they would do this offseason. At some point enough has to be enough. Howard is electric and he can change the outcome of a game. Last year we saw that with his game-clinching opening weekend interception against the Patriots, 2021 was not as good as 2020 but we knew he wasn't hitting those numbers again. Howard is still very good and that is why giving him a new contract doesn't make as much sense as just trading him. I know, this is not a popular opinion and I am sure that the regular catcalls from the audience in the comment section will beg for me to just leave but it is true. Miami is investing a lot of money in a 28-year-old corner who will still have a very good season or two but not likely another, great, one. He has passed the precipice of his career, in my opinion. Once a corner starts to lose his game, it goes quickly. We have seen this with others before including Darrell Rivas. There is a short lifespan on the edge and Howard wanting more money is not a bad thing, for him. Miami wanting to give him more isn't a bad thing but at some point, the Dolphins need to realize that there are other positions that need to be upgraded and Howard has a contract that he is playing on and it isn't some way underpaid deal. Howard is making a lot of money in 2021, $16 million plus. While I do think that there is a lot to like about Howard and having him here is far better than not, what gets me is the fact that Miami has him under contract and for the second year in a row we are tweaking it or changing it to keep him happy. If there was ever a situation to ride the fence, this is one of them. I don't agree with shelling out more money for a guy already under contract to keep him happy. On the other hand, he makes the defense better. If the Dolphins are trying to lower his cap hit this year and maybe throw more guaranteed money at him then this isn't a bad thing. If this is simply to make him happy, well, then maybe it is. If the Dolphins do get a contract worked out for him, we can judge it when it is completed, at least for what might amount to two years before he wants it changed again. Mike McDaniel is all in on Tua Tungavailoa in his first year with the Miami Dolphins and there is excitement building for the fanbase. McDaniel spoke with Peter Schrager on Wednesday about several things but McDaniel's comments on Tua Tungavailoa are good to hear. McDaniel said that he is building a relationship with his quarterback and that Daryl Bevel and Frank Smith, the quarterback coach and offensive coordinators, are already looking forward to bringing more out in the young quarterback. McDaniel said there is untapped talent they haven't seen yet but he went a bit further saying that, you can tell that it's empowering to have people that believe in him, I think it's important that you empower the quarterback. What happens to Tua beyond the 2022 season will be up to Tua Tungavailoa. He will need to show his new coaches that his work ethic is where they expect it. He has to show improvement in his film study, his practices, and then, apply them all on Sundays when it matters. McDaniel and the Dolphins are in a good situation with Tua this year. If he succeeds, the Dolphins were smart to keep him and get him a coach and system that works to his strengths. If he fails, they can move on from him in 2023, likely through the draft. This allows McDaniel a year to evaluate without having his career placed on the shoulders of a quarterback he inherited. We know that the Dolphins' pursuit of Watson is an indication that the Dolphins as an organization are willing to move on from Tungavailoa but keeping him for one more year is a better move that gives them flexibility, a full year of evaluation in a better system, theoretically, and then make a decision. For now, Tua is the quarterback and McDaniel and his staff are going to try and make him better. We will know if that works after the 2022 season. At least they are supporting him unlike Brian Flores.